Super duper doo, how are you? What are you waiting for? <laughs> are you waiting for it to be Monday so you can start your diet? Are you waiting for it to be Friday because you hate your job? Or maybe you're waiting for it to be the end of the day because you hate your job? Are you waiting for it to be summer because you like it to be warm? Are you waiting for it to be winter because you want to go skiing? Are you waiting for holidays? Are you waiting for New Year's resolution day 1st of January before you make any decisions? Are you waiting for Santa time so that you can have a holiday? Are you waiting for, waiting for, waiting for, waiting for? Ha ha. And it seems that a lot of people are wasting their life waiting. I've got a great question and something that I live by every day. What am I going to do today? Do I have a choice today that the very next thing that I eat could be healthy or could add value to my life, could be high performance fuel? The very next thing that I do, could it be exercise? (laughs) Could I get puffed? Could I lift heavy? Could I do a combination of both? Why would I have to wait for Monday? Why would I have to wait till next year? Why would I have to wait till after Christmas? Why would I wait till the end of the week to be happy? What if I decided that I could be happy now? And they're all really interesting questions because the world seems to be full of procrastination. I'll do it when. I deal with this every day because as an education college, a lot of people share with me, this is my time frame for becoming a qualified exercise professional, for becoming a business professional, for getting my business diploma. And often people have an original time time frame and then they stretch that time frame out because they get busy, because they get stressed, because life takes over. It's one of the reasons why Max has a lifetime education so that you can have a lifetime to complete your education. But time's gonna pass us by anyway. We've all got 24 hours in a day. We've all got 168 hours in a week. Isn't that exciting? That's the one thing that you and I both have in common. We all have exactly the same amount of time. So why is it that some people invest into their time wisely and get a great return on their investment and other people wait for time to pass them by before they get something done? And I use another interesting example. It's one of those uh, laws of the universe, uh, like the Murphy's Law. If something can go wrong, it will go wrong. And it goes a bit like this. You will do it in the time frame that you have allotted. So if you say, uh, I'm going to do that, I've got six months to do it, it seems that yes, it will take six months, but we tend to do it right at the end of the six months. So we procrastinate the first five months and two weeks, and we get it done the last two weeks. So why not just get it done straight away? I'm going to start my exercise program on Monday. I'm going to start eating healthy on Monday. Well, why not start now, whatever day it is? It could be the end of Monday and you're, and you're thinking, I'll start next Monday, but why not start today? It could be Christmas Day. Why not start now? We always seem to procrastinate our decisions or worse, we proc- procrastinate our action. And is that a challenge? Could that become a habit? And if you keep procrastinating and it becomes a habit, what are you ever going to get done? So one of the really cool things that I learned a very long time ago, and I've lived my life like this, and it's been very helpful, is if I ever hear myself say, I'll do that tomorrow or I'll do that later, I do it now. I never put it off. So it might be as simple as, oh, that cupboard needs cleaning out. I'll do that next week. Uh Uh-uh. If I have time to do it now, I will do it now. Now, if I'm in a hurry to go out the door and I've got an appointment, I don't clean out the cupboard. But I don't put it off. I don't go, well, you know, sometime in the future. If it can be done now, I do it now. I don't want to ever procrastinate because I don't want to get into the habit of procrastination. I don't want to get into the habit of putting it off. So I stopped doing that a really long time ago and I'm the person that gets stuff done. And I share that really proudly because people say to me, Roa, you really get, you do get a stack of stuff done. You've only got 168 hours in your week. You do exercise every day and you eat healthy food and you play with your puppy dogs and you look after all your students seven days a week and you do a whole heap of stuff. How do you have time to do it? Well, I have the same amount of time that you do. I just don't procrastinate. I don't wait. Now, one of the interesting challenges I have is patience. I'm not very patient, but I'm also aware that time's going to pass me by anyway. So if something is out of my control, I don't don't get stressed about it. I don't get frustrated about it because I can't control it. If a builder says they're coming or the plumber says they're coming or somebody tells me they're going to do something, I don't Uh, expect that to happen. I can't control what other people do, but I have full control over what I do. So I'm never the person that says, sometime in the future, I will. If I can do it now, I absolutely do. So why do we wait? 
Why do we wait for New Year's to make a resolution? Why do we wait for Monday to start a diet? Why do we wait for Christmas to give people gifts? Why do we wait? Another beautiful gift that I was given as a young child. My father taught me that when you love somebody, it shouldn't be about Christmas or birthday or Valentine's Day or Mother's Day or Father's Day. My father would just do beautiful things for me randomly for no reason on any day. Uh, and I love that. I love living in a, in a life where every day is special. I don't have to wait for Christmas to be special. I don't have to wait for my birthday. I make every single day special, important, memorable. Could you do the same thing? And if you're not already, what if you decided today, I'm never going to procrastinate ever again. I'm just going to stop. <laughs> Maybe you're in the habit of procrastinating and there's a really great way to stop that. Just stop. If you want to stop stopping, stop. Stop. <laughs> Just do it. If you ever hear yourself say, I'm going to do it tomorrow, I'm going to do it later, just stop what you're doing and do it now. So that your, your, your human brain, your, your philosophy of life becomes, I don't procrastinate, I get it done now. And the reason I think that's so important is tomorrow never comes because tomorrow will now become today and then tomorrow is again in the future. So if you're putting it off until tomorrow, is it possible that you're telling your own brain to keep putting it off forever? Because tomorrow never comes. When we're in today, there's always a tomorrow. I know that sounds very deep. But I, I, think, it's a, I think we use tomorrow as a very big procrastination tool. We use the future as, well, I'll do it later. And I ask this again very personally because a lot of people share their goals with me. I want to have my own business. I want to be a dancer. I want to build my new home. I want to have children. I want to be healthy, fit and strong. I want to have a body that's in great shape. So there's the goal. I always ask for the time frame. What's the time frame? But the time it takes is not when you can get started. Whatever your goal is, when can you start? And what if you started right now so that you never procrastinate, you never wait, you just start now? Now, if you're on a, a mission to be healthy, fit and strong, it might not be today that you feel healthy, fit and strong. But is it possible that if you do something today, your brain will feel better? And more importantly, the neurotransmitters in your brain that give you a feeling of satisfaction, serotonin. Dopamine is a reward drug. Congratulations, you did something. Endorphins are the painkillers that help you do it. And then brain-derived neurotropic factor is the product that when you exercise at high intensity, when you do high intense bursts of activity, your brain produces fertilizer, BDNF, so that you can think more clearly. That's neuroplasticity, so that you can think differently. Neurogenesis, so you can drop off the old brain cells and create new ones. And is it possible that if you are constantly doing that, that you could you could drop off the procrastination habit. You could drop off the, I'll put it off until tomorrow and I'll start my diet on Monday and I'll start being happy when I'm on holidays. That whole process can actually stop because you change your brain chemistry. And that is as simple as getting puffed. And the high intense phosphate system is only 10 seconds. So what if every time you feel like procrastinating, you decide I'm going to sprint for 10 seconds, I'm going to do a high intense burst of activity, I'm going to change my brain chemistry, and then I'm going to go do it. Whatever it is that can be done today, I'm not going to put it off until tomorrow. Because the major challenge with that, of course, is that tomorrow has its own set of missions. And if I procrastinate today, what I'm supposed to do today, and I leave it till tomorrow, tomorrow arrives, I've got some more, other, I've got other things to do, more things to do. So consequently, a whole heap of stuff doesn't get done. I want to get to the end of my day and feel satisfied that I've achieved the things that I wanted to do. I want to get to the end of my day and be proud of who I am because I haven't procrastinated. How about you? So how about we drop off the... What are you waiting for? And just stop waiting and start doing. Stop waiting and start doing. Super duper do. How are you? I am doing it today. I'm not a procrastinator. Woohoo!